Ooh, wow. I'm not much for sleeping in, but last night was horrible. Got back from getting our semi into Mike's garage, and I got our truck stuck up in our driveway. It was horrible last night, and it looks like it's still snowing. Hmm, let's get to it. I need some hot chocolate because even though I just got out of bed, just looking at that snow gets me cold. We got a lot of snow out there. It must be one to two foot of snow. It is drifting. I really want to move all of our farm equipment over to our new building in our land. I really wish I could start building a new building, but it the snow is just uh, pushing that back. Uh, I, I have purchased a new building. I have the contract already in. I'm just having to wait until they can actually break ground. But I just want to separate the farm equipment from our sales lot because we've got more trucks coming in. And I, I need to make room for them in our sales lot. So I called a buddy and he thinks he can help me out. But first thing, we got to get down to the tractor and pull out our truck. Make sure I get all my coats and my coveralls on because it is going to be cold. That's right. Oh man, it is two degrees out there. Crazy how cold it is. So I don't know if you could see it or not, but our truck is down there. Even though it has a snow plow, it, I couldn't get it through this deep snow. So that plow is basically just buried with how deep the snow is. So I think I'm going to walk down and try to start up one of my tractors. Hopefully one of them will start so I can uh, pull this uh, our truck out. Man, it is hard going through this snow. It's so deep. And I'm just making a straight line directly to our building. Snow is getting deep. So the plan is to try to pull out our truck. I just don't want it stuck. And uh, either if we can't pull out the truck, use the tractor to go check on the pigs. I just need to make sure the heater, uh, the feeder, and the water is all working today. Hmm. Which tractor do you think will start? I'm going with the old and trusty. Let's see if this old girl starts. Oh, I tried to a little bit there. Man, let's put a little bit of ether in it. Alright, we're gonna spray some ether. Oh yeah, there it goes. Don't usually like putting ether in the tractor like this, but kind of had to today we will let this warm up a little bit and kind of see what we need to do so this is a ton of snow even when I was snow plowing I kind of barged up my trailer over there too so my buddy has he basically works for the road construction. He said that uh, when he comes down here, we could use his truck basically to move snow out of our driveway and out of our lot here, hopefully. So at least we're going to have piled up snow everywhere, but at least we will be able to move equipment. This is not the best conditions to move equipment. But I need to clear out this lot or clear out some building space over here because I got new trucks coming in here in a few days. I need that area cleared. So, and it ain't stopping to snow. So I, I just will do it now instead of just keep on waiting. Uh, but first, I want to go get try to get that truck unstuck. It should be warm enough now. Trying to miss that 
baler there. There we go. Oh wow, this snow is deep. This tractor is even spinning. Don't think we're going to have much of an issue pulling out our truck with this. I just don't want to break something on the truck while we're doing it. That's a big issue. Man, it's, it's, these ruts are so deep where it gets so bouncy in this thing. Got to take it nice and slow. Definitely need to push some snow today before we start moving equipment. Woo! No wonder I got that old Ford stuck. Didn't have a chance in this snow. Still going, so we're... Wow. Another thing we need to do is make sure our bins have power. Making sure the, the air is still running on them for the wheat. Oh, I think we will just pull that truck backwards. Pull it all the way to the road. Alright, so we got the truck hooked up now. We got the tractor hooked up. So we're going to put the truck in neutral. Alright, neutral. Hopefully, we shouldn't break anything. We'll take it nice and slow. Take this nice and slow. Keep pulling nice and easy. Don't want to try not to jerk it like I am right now. I'm trying to go nice and easy back. So we'll just keep pulling all the way to hopefully where my buddy will start snow plowing. There we go. Ooh, quite a bit of horsepower to get this thing to roll backwards, but... Wow. Sure I'm glad that I have a front wheel sys tractor here. Makes it good in these situations, that's for sure. Kinda wish I had the duels on the tractor right now, but this I don't want that much uh, resistance on that hitch so all right so that should be enough so now I can wait I'm gonna take the tractor back take this tractor over here to the side and kind of wait until they uh, snow plow this road and then uh, Hopefully we can use it to uh, plow out our little lot and up by our uh, new piggies. Just got off the phone with my buddy. He said he actually had to uh, stop plowing. So the city only lets him plow for 12 hours. He has plowed all night long through the snow trying to clear off these roads. But he said the snow plow is actually stopped and parked right down by the end of our uh, road where it meets the highway. And he said just use it, put it back where he found it. No one knows anything about it. I don't know if this is legal, but I got to do something with all this snow. And it's not going to be till tomorrow, he said, that they'll be able to get to it. So I think... I'm gonna go down there and try it and uh, maybe put a little gas in it and put it right back where I found it. Now the only issue is I hope our truck can get down to it. This might be kind of an adventure. Well at least it started. Wow that's kind of surprising. It's like three degrees out. So I'm not even gonna try to plow even though I can't raise my plow even out of the snow. I think that might be the biggest issue. I'm just going to try to bulldoze my way all the way through it, basically. Uh, not going too bad right now, uh, other than taking a lot of power. I'm kind of making it through, I guess. Wow, this, I thought I was going to have a lot more 
problems here because of how deep the snow is. Thought it was going to start packing underneath our frame and start getting high centered. Alright, so there is the snow plow. So now I need to figure out where I'm going to park this out of the way. I guess maybe I'll just park it right here. Might have to pull it out again, I don't know. Alright, so hopefully this truck will start and we will just start plowing down that road. How do they get in their trucks? Wow. You could barely open the door wide enough to get in. You kind of have to squeeze in. Really don't want to touch that muffler after I've been running the truck. I mean, at least there's a guard there, but wow. You have to swing the arm down? Do I have to go on the passenger side? Oh, this is... They must have to scooch over. Well, that's how they get in. Well, at least this truck started. So we don't have any salt in the back. So hopefully I have enough weight to pull through this snow. I got chains on the tires, so that really helps out. So I am just going to push this all the way to the other highway. That's at least the plan. Alright, wow, that is deep. Look at that, snow drifts. Woo! Them are quite the drifts on the side, so... We might have to think about getting a snowmobile, because this is... Wow, okay, now we have a ditch, so it's not making near the drifts, so that's nice. Because I don't really... The drifts, I mean, it's not really an issue, but... If the wind ever picks up, then you're going to have huge... Uh, uh, the wind's basically going to leave the snow, so then we have problems with drifting, you know, truck high. Snow drifts, so that's not what I want. Like here, that could be an issue. So glad I don't have to do this with my uh, little plow I have in front of my truck. Almost be impossible. So I think, oh wow, look, it's almost higher than that stop sign. Alright, so I'm going to go up here. Clear off. I'm surprised they haven't got to that highway yet, but maybe they just can't do it. I'm going to go around, so I really need to make sure I have access to this building, because that's where we're going to be moving a lot of the equipment. stuck. Got a little bit too much snow pushing there. Crazy how good these snow plows work. This is definitely helping us out, that's for sure. Alright, so now's the challenging part. I'm going to try to get as much snow cleared out of our lot here as possible. Wow, I might bury our little shed here. Alright, so we're taking a second swath through our lot. Uh, I really need like a snow blower for this because it means I'm pushing it, kind of forcing my equipment. Trying to get this pushed out so I don't just jam all this in front of the door. Now I kind of touched my uh, disc right there. Really didn't want to do that. I might have to just be good enough. Go. I said I wish I had a good snow a snow blower attachment on one of my uh, 
tractor so I can just uh, clean this up. You almost need a snow blower in this uh, depth of snow. Plow just kind of, you got to push it somewhere. Wow. Alright, so got that. There we go. Now I'm going to take this up. I'm going to try to clear out a path all the way to my house. Means I have the plow. So I don't have to continuously get stuck with my truck. I always hate this when you're doing this when it's snowing. You just think you're going to have to do it the next day. It's hard for this truck going up this hill. Oh yeah. It's using a lot of needs a lot of traction pushing this up to the hill. Alright. Yeah, this at least we'll clear out all these big ruts we've made. That's way nicer than what it was before at least. So we won't push that any farther. We might actually break that tree off. There we go. Looks like I kind of missed my driveway there. Maybe I need to put some snow stakes in my driveway. Kind of hard to tell where it's at. Might have to think about doing that when the ground's unthawed. At least then we could get a good reading of what depth the snow is. Wow, this this probably saved me at least five hours of uh, pushing snow around my little plow. I probably would have got stuck multiple times. This really cut out a lot of time out of that. So I'm glad I was able to uh, acquire. We're going to say acquire this snow plow for about an hour. I, I cleared off one of the roads that you'd have to get to sooner or later, so this is a payback for actually being able to clearing off one of the roads. There we go. Wow, I'm really pushing up that uh, truck there. So now all we have to do is... Uh, I want to go around our pig lot so I can actually go and check their water. Don't want to make this any higher than what it needs to be. We will just won't make it any wider. Uh, Got to be careful. I don't want to push any snow drift in front of this. So what we'll probably do is just go all the way around this building. Uh, Want to try to get towards the silos. This snowplow really doesn't work too great when you turn it a little bit too sharp. It doesn't pick the snow up the best, but it gets to the depth where we won't get stuck, I guess. It's really pushing the snow now. Oh, wow. Really using the power up. There we go. Go down this road for a little ways. So we are snow plowing at least this highway. Don't know if we have to have some type of certification for this or registration but I don't think the cops are going to be out in force they're probably busy pulling out people from the ditch making checking up on people making sure their heaters work so I don't think I'll get in trouble for it, at least today but after this we should be done All we have to do is 
plow this. This road should be good, and uh, and we can take this plow back. We could start moving some equipment. So we got to get out of the passenger door again because I want to leave it just like we found it. Man, I hope the snow doesn't bring up, doesn't make another foot of snow pack. Wow, I kind of left a big mound in the middle of the road there. That's not good. All right, so this is so much easier driving now. Just hope there's not more, a lot of snow on the way. I'll at least hold off until we start moving all of our equipment. Uh, so now the plan is to go to our lot and start starting up the equipment. I almost forgot we haven't checked up on our pigs yet. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to start up some equipment. I'm really worried about them. So uh, first bad winter storms. I need to make sure no power lines fell down, everything. The heater has power. Uh, we got propane for the heater right, and power. And they're fed. Their automatic water. Everything works. That's priorities right now. Alright, so it is warmer in here, that's for sure. Don't think we can keep it up to their normal temperature pigs they they get fatter quicker when you can keep them at a steady temperature and they definitely don't get diseases or get sick or anything like that if you could keep them in a normal temperature range but we'll have to get better at controlling that we got feed in the feeders we got water so they are good probably check up on them again tonight and these drifts are so high I can't even see over top of them it's crazy how much snow we got I really wish I could get to the headers but I think that'll almost be impossible don't think I can at least get to that head maybe we can get to the corn head hopefully get that inside a building that might be a goal and I really barged up that truck there. Should have been watching closer though. Alright, so this equipment I definitely want to get out. Uh, hopefully, and I want to get out this equipment. Maybe... So we got... What do we got in here? Yep loader tractor maybe I'll leave that for plowing around snow I'd like to get a move the planter over maybe I'll just keep all the hay equipment over here don't really need that for uh, uh, truck storage for a lot all right so that's the goal to move the grain cart planter combine try to hook up to the header we're not gonna get to that disc it looks all combobulated we're gonna have to wait till the snow dries on that move the little square baler over here and get our drill all right so let's start up these tractors man this thing is dead I'm gonna have to pull over the charger for this thing shoot all right, let's go get the charger. All right, so now that that thing's hooked up, I'm gonna go try to start our beast spine here. Hmm. Hmm. This is definitely a cold start. We'll probably, I'm gonna have to ether it. All right, sprayed some ether in there. Now let's see if this girl will start. Come on. Whoa. Definitely don't want to do that a lot. That's probably hard on the engine. We'll let this thing definitely warm up nice. Uh, I think I'll go start our uh, 4960 over here. Should start. I know it got probably cold. It's 3 degrees, but it was running not too long ago. Alright, so that's running. We'll let that warm up 
the fluids a little bit. Well, the 4960 is running a little while, so we have to move that planter first to get to anything. Alright, so we're pulling out this, uh, and take it nice and slow over the snow drifts. Did check all the tires are aired up. Alright, so let's open up this door. Oh, this is nice. Shop's nice and heated. Why is this door open? That door should be open. Alright, now the plan is where do we need the planter? Thinking I want one planter, the long planter, I'm hoping it'll fit uh, long ways right here. So I'll open up this door. I think I'll just drive it through and then try to back it because I didn't plow the snow in front of this door. So that way I don't have to use it as a bowdoze with the snow. That should work. I think that's a plan. You just barely missed that side of the door. This planter is longer than what I was expecting. So maybe that wasn't the best plan. Now we could just back it straight up. Alright, so we got it backed up. Do we clear? Wow, that is close. Wow, that is close. So we just barely clear that door there. Alright, so the planter is in there. I think uh, B spine should be ready. Then I have to decide where I want that corn head at. So we will leave that over to the side. Running. Is it a are we able to get this corn head? Well I think So as long as I don't go over this mound, I think Beast Spine big LSWs can come in over from here and get to the corn head. Pretty sure we can get it that way. take it nice and slow like I said them corn heads are so much money I just need to get that into the I just want to get that into our new garage so we got to be awful careful with B spine here make sure we clear that door there we go oh there we go take it nice and slow here I'm hoping I plowed this uh, drifts wide enough for a 12 row corn head. I know I plowed this road wide enough, but I don't know if I plowed the other road, so I'm gonna hopefully not get stuck. Alright, so there we go, now we just have to align to the corn head. Alright, so it's up in the air now. So now we just gotta back this girl up and uh, move it over to our new shed. Still got our flags on our combine, so never gonna take them off. Man, them LSWs just float on this snow. So this may be an issue because we are just barely wide enough right now for this corn head. I'm really hoping this corn head gets through our big door. Oh wow, we got to keep this go nice and slow. So we're still clearing the the drifts, just barely though. We don't have much room. I'm so glad if I can get this in our shed. I been worried about my corn head. Alright, now now is the question. Does it fit through this door? So it just barely fit through that door. Uh, now the question is, will it fit over 
between here? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Yep, it looks like I can fit it up there. That'll work nicely. Alright, now I'm going to get out there and I'm going to fold up all my snouts. So I have all the snouts folded up. I'm going to lower this head. Move it a little bit further ahead. It's going to be... We're going to have to walk around it, but we're just going to have to live with it until we uh, get our other storage uh, shed built. Should be able to get our planter in here. Uh, what else did we want to get in here? Uh, oh, our uh, grain cart. We can get our grain cart, so I might put the Kinsey's together here. So I'll get the grain cart, back it up right here. It has big floater tires on the back, so there should be no issue. Uh, I'll get our 81. And I'll put that on the other planter. And I'll get both uh, tractors over here. And I'll probably go get our international and keep it parked in here. Just because uh, I don't like it getting snowed on. Keep that door closed. Now the only issue is we gotta walk all the way back in the snow. Oh man. Alright, so I think the 81 should start now. Oh yeah. There we go. We'll let this uh, warm up. We'll unhook it. And unplug it. Now that that's done, I will get the 4960. Where we leave that again? Oh, yep, right over here. Hook it to the grain cart. I need to take the duels over there to our new uh, shop and get them uh, put on sometime because uh, we're not gonna need, we're gonna need the duels on this. Alright, we're pulling this grain cart now. I'll probably just go out over on this side. Whoa, whoa, got a little sliding going on there. Might have to put the duels on this thing. Definitely. Oh, it's getting a little icy out here. All right, the plan is to put this in the second door over there. Uh-oh. We might have to drive this through like the Kinsey. That is not going to work. Oh, we did not make that corner there like I wanted to. Back it up. Alright, now I'm going to shut that off. That tractor should be good. Shut that door. Skim under it. Now we got to walk back in the snow again. Oh, man. So we will go to our 81. Oh, we got to move the truck first. That's what... Alright, we'll leave the truck right here for now. At least it's out of the way. Things nice and warm now. So we just gotta back this all the way up to our drill. Really need to take this 8100 down to uh, Platte Valley implements sometime this winter to get the duels, get a few options put on it. Want GPS if we can get it uh, put on it so we can use it. I plan on using this as my planting tractor, so I want to get a few options on it. So that's the goal. Obviously, we got all winter long. I'll have to call Buck and see when a good time it is to bring it on down. Alright, now we just have to open the door up. Should be able to just back that in underneath the combine spout right up to the Kinsey. Here we go, we're just backing that up. This is fit nicely. I'm really liking how this is being arranged. 
hopefully we can still work on some of this equipment get to our tools at least we do have the back room over there we can always work on stuff there we got everything in in there I wish we could get our 5088 in there but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.